Put on your fire disguise, old woman with veil, and shed your spicy skin. Burn the fire. Rise up high, rise up till you touch the sky. Hi, welcome back to my time tunnel, and it's time for a look at part two of the Guyana Speaks theme and stories, poetry, and fables of Guyana. Yes, today we'll be looking at part two. Remember I gave you John Agar the last time and I had to give you full. John John was just dynamic. So we'll continue this time with um, a bit of a live stream from Ken Corsby, who was also really good, with, along with Mark Matthews. I've got Rosie McAndrew and a bit of Doris Harper Wills, who will close the show along with Keith Wade. So for that, I'd say welcome again to the YouTube channel and let's enjoy Guyana's culture at its best. I would like to read you a few of my favorites, but I will leave his most famous poem, Old High, in the hands of Mark Matthews, who will be following on. First, a couple of poems reflecting his meticulous observation of nature. Blue Golding. Stilts support the silent, slate blue shadow of patience, spanning a channel of concentration where lurks a death as quick and as clean as the snip of a surgeon's scissors, and as noiseless as the growth in a sprig of bamboo, or the invisible workings of the starch factory in a blade of zeb grass. Swift eyes discern the shimmering, scaly rainbow of recklessness, streaking for the channel between life and death. Mud churns with a vicious suddenness, and the snip of a pair of scissors in the silence is the dirge of a young Creek Patwa who dared to try the keenness of the eyes in a feathered watchtower mounted on two weed-like stilts. Actually, I didn't know where it was. <laughs> uh, Ken gave me this. Some, somewhere in the 60s, Ken came and said, read this. And when he said, I said, read this, and I looked around. And I began, old woman with the wrinkled skin, let your life walk begin. Put on your fiery disguise, old woman with the weary eyes. Shed your swizzly skin. MacAndrews, all life is a classic. Old woman with the wrinkled skin, let you all I walk begin. Put on your fire disguise, old woman with the veil, and shed your swissly skin. Burn the fire, rise up high, rise up till you touch the sky. Land on top somebody, trips in, trunic ego, open your land. Find the baby with life. Change back faster than the eye. Find the baby. Lift the sheet. Make the puncture with your teeth. Suck the baby dry. Before the baby start to cry, change back faster and out your fly. Find the gooby with your skin. Make yourself dodge and in. Green. In your dirty outer ground. Next day, school children flock you up. All oh, like, all oh, like, now you know. Get it easy. Hold your mouth, don't let them find you out. Then the mark up your chalk everywhere. You got to walk your bridge, you know, the jealousy, but cross the mark and let them see. Else, you might spread the talk. Ah, uh, next night, you got out just the same. Fly across this window sill. <laughs> she said for me. She know, but she know why this baby lies so still. Lift the sheet. 
as though what it was that was worrying me, and I put it to everybody that, is that, in fact, the only bit of Chinese architecture is the Bernal. Because without the Bernal, we're... So, and, but this will explain it. I mean, it was um, Graves, I think, who wants us to explain the poem. And his response was, I'll only make it worse and worse. <laughs> but coming from that stance, this is what came out. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you call out their names? Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out their names? Names of them that with chisel, hammer, and plane, embroidered wood to frame, cathedral glass stained window panes. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you tell me their names? Them that shaded avenues with umbrellas of flaming flambeau flowers. Could you tell me, could you please call out their names? Them that with shovel, spade, trowel, denied season, kissed, insistent claim. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you call out their names? Names of them that fashion canals from gutters, rivers, and drains. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out their names? Them women that plant, harvest, cook, feed, and sustain those hands, those bodies that massage and calm, muscle and ache. In brain, could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out their names? Them bellies, them bubbies that suckle the born, nurture generations that guard with salt dye water, flooding barrier around. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out their names? Them that with laughter song, despite the disaster, welcome all like we that come along. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out the names? Could you please call out the names? Them the bleeding, labored fields of cotton and natural Latin cane, borrowed tunnels on the ground, mining coal, tin, gold, bauxite, ruby, and precious stones. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out the names? Them that derive the rice to ripe, Shred paddy, pestle mortar, palm planting to grain, matapi cassava to pepper pot drain, dark floor and fireside from calabash cup, jamun wine sock. Could you tell me, could you tell me, could you please call out the names? We are found by our regime in the National Culture Center, Ron Robinson and Campbell Williams. That's you see right. the last man? Right? That's not right. the name. Yeah, I know, coming to you, coming to you, sorry, is Johnny here, right? Johnny's yes. here, Johnny's here. What's he there? Good uh, Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, you, you, are, you are a remarkable man. I Johnny is trying to go on to. I Johnny is still there. And Johnny is trying to go on. Johnny is trying to go on. Johnny is trying to go on. Look to that there. And Johnny is still there. 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 And Doris Day. Yes, Doris Day, you know. Of course, we'll turn their back and their stuff. I think if you can tell it was up the top of the scene somewhere. Yeah, you have to go right there. We did that. We did a two man show at Pancho Peru's talk of the Tom Cafe in Water Street. Here tonight on the air, GPS broadcasting. And you did Chinese coconut vendor. Yeah. End of the coconut vendor. Got some bad words. <laughs> and got some funny things about Jesus. The story and is that all the preach man they start a funny story. <laughs> they say that Jesus go come back. After they take the man to a big piece of wood put the back and make you walk up a long, long hill and plant the wood yard for a little water to drip the inside and give us. They think the man is a scotch to fucking come back. But let me just say to you, Ken, you're a great pioneer um, and inspirer, of, and I'm good to see you in good form, and I hope Elizabeth is in good health. And that, that invitation to St. Lucia, when you created the first. Thai conference, which was Theater Information Exchange, 
It was my yes. first visit to a Caribbean island out of Guyana. So even though I don't communicate much by email or phone, you are a treasured moment in our heart. That six o'clock feeling, six o'clock shadow falling, wrapping you up, making you stop and think about all these things God doing, all them trees, taking strange, strange shapes, standing up, shush, against the sky. You know that six o'clock color? <clears throat> Mike. Pink. Mike. 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 Tint, blue, purple, and black. That six o'clock feeling. Feeling. Making you feel, Making you feel so small, small that you want to cry. And you fall down on your knees. And thank God, God, you can still see a six o'clock sky. sky. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the space that I've been agonizing all week. I'm 87 this year. Oh, I was with Keith. I was with Keith since 1963. He used to do my Kiss Kiddie song in Princeton River College, in the National Park, all over the place. I was with. Where is Mark? I was with him. Come back. Ride your bicycle. He used to ride his bicycle. Come on, hurry up, Mark. <laughs> Come to your granny. <laughs> I'm a nice granny, do it, dear. Yes. I'm like that TV program. I'm going to call the person. I'm so sorry. Ken calls me and I were at Rose Buford together. It broke my heart that all these people were going to be on. And this old lady of 87, who might die in bed any time. No. 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 That's how I well, perhaps in action. <laughs> but I'll read this poem. Right? Dale, come. Come here, Dale. I want you with me. Yes. Now, this farm here, come on, Mark. Don't provoke me, because I'm a better old height than you, yeah? I appreciate it. You don't mind you, You didn't ask me. I was asked to do anything. My old height is fantastic. But anyway, we belong to Guyana. We belong to Guyana. We belong, we belong to Guyana. We belong. We belong to Guyana. We belong to the land of many waters. The land of worthy sons and worthy daughters. We belong to the land of many races. Many shades of dark and light skinned faces. We belong to the sun, the moon, the evening star the Supreme God that made us what we are. Whatever faith, Christian, Hindu, Islam, whatever root, Indian or African, we belong. We belong, we belong to, to Diana. Diana. Again, we belong, we belong, we belong to Diana. And with that, I'll say thank you for looking, thank you for watching. And until we meet again, keep in touch. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, if you like, let's go. And I'll be bringing you lots more in the future. I'm looking at a lot of culture, and I say it is a pleasure being with you. Carl Brown saying to you, <laughs> stay as good as you are. Catch you later next time.